Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are starting out here at the heart of Ohio. It's it's not even open yet. We're before hours. Help starting to show up. And uh, yeah, let's check in. Oh, you can wave on camera now. Hello. See, these guys are just showing up. Good morning. I love it. Good morning. So this is what happens when employees call off, guys. We got to fix the board. So uh, Robbie's up here getting it fixed for us. Bob's got covered today, right, Bob? <laughs> I reckon. You reckon. I love it. <laughs> hey, Mark. Good, Good morning. morning. You look, look like you're smiling already. Already. Ready no, to rock it. Definitely do it. Al's in the house today, smiling, ready to go. You got it. That's right. I love it. All right. There's Mo, ready to rock it. What's, up? What's going on today, Mo? Not much. Welcome to the heart of Ohio, baby. Welcome to the heart. Hi. How's Adam today? Tired but good. Tired but good. Oh, well, you're in a good, good place to wake up right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's me and all over here. It's like, hey, you got the ice bucket those guys were working on yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm not sure how to take a picture because it's good. Uh, like just leave this. it like that. No, I'll put it down. <laughs> What's your word of the day, Mamaw? Mm, the word of the day. Confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're, we operate in back here? State of confusion. <laughs> yeah, just don't be confused. Just put your faith in the Lord and he'll get you through it. There we go. I like it. <laughs> what, just ha what you just told us. <laughs> what happened, Mom? <laughs> I was sitting there. I was sleeping and all of a sudden the phone rang and it was like, I don't know, late at night and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, something's wrong and I'm getting it. It says Jim. And I said, Jim, and I turn around and he's not in bed. So I jump up and I'm running around trying to see where he's at. And he was sitting in the bathroom and he was, and I said, what are you doing? He said, pull my boots off. And he had boots when the basement had flooded because a pipe busted so uh, he was in water clear up to his knees down here and i was pulling on his boots and, and i finally got it loose the water come pouring out i fell down and hit the wall good grief <laughs> says, you guys make it <laughs> yeah <laughs> they finally they called they finally got some help on the way they got some help there this morning they got the pipes all yeah. shut off all right. i got uh, i called gothard about 6 30 and told him we had a crisis <laughs> had an issue had an issue you. <laughs> Good grief. You never, <laughs> Jimmy, you said you hit a yard sale? I did. I hit a yard sale deal on the way in. What'd you get? I got uh, I got me some cap guns. Okay. I got me a jack and pulp. Another one. Fitting? Yeah. Nice. It's, it's hand painted, hand signed on the bottom. Nice. Um, yeah, I got a, uh, got a shoe shine box. I got some peanut um, stuff. Uh, I got uh, three Hi, cookie jars. I'm calling from the heart of Ohio. All right, so what'd you get at the All yard right, sales, so Jimmy? Got me a little shoe shine box. Shoe shine I box. Get my stuff shined up now. Dude, if I put my shoes up there, you think you can get them shined up? Well, <laughs> there we go. I don't know, I think you got it dirtier. <laughs> they, <might have. laughs> they turned black. My blue went black now. What the no, heck? No, they're not black. Look at that. Look how clean that is and how dirty that one is Come now. Here, I got a rag. I'll wipe it off. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put your foot up here again. See what happens. No, I'm keeping it down. <laughs> Anyways, I got me a shoe shot box. All right, what else you get? Uh, oh, I like the peanuts lunch yeah, box. Got me a peanuts lunch. That box. was at the the yard sale. Yeah. Dang. That's really good. Nice Charlie Brown lunch box. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, you got some caps. There you go. There you there go. You go. Some cap guns. And a... That's fun. Uh, oh, look at this. I like cleaners. The peanuts is nice too. The little yeah. peanut set's pretty peanuts cool. That's cool. Victorian Bell. Yeah. These are these are a nice little Victorian bell. How much did you spend on all this? I uh, got ninety five bucks. Ninety five. How much you want for it? <laughs> Josh and I will buy it right now, huh, Josh? Yeah. Like. Quick turn. Quick turn. <laughs> I got me. A Ooh, I like jar. the cookie jar. All right. Now that's American bisque, I think. Give you a hundred bucks for it, and that pays for your gas coming in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're all hard. He's all hard, isn't he? <laughs> all right. So we got. We got 95. So far, I'm seeing uh, you're getting closer. You're getting closer. Oh, I'm getting closer. Yep. Apple cookie jar. Oh, I like that too. Is it cracked? No. All right, Jimmy, I'll finally, I'll give you your 95. Nope, now I'll give you 100. Ooh. There's your, I'll give you 100 now. Yeah? Yep. Well, hold on. So we're up to 100. Josh, what are you pay him? 105. 105. Josh is at 105. I'm at 100. You're in a hundred. Good God. They're all hundred. 107.50. <laughs> yeah, 107. Oh, look at that. Ah, and there's nice. my, my gym piece. The gym? I like them. See Signed them. on Let the bottom. Real quick. Okay, so Fenton, artist signed, hand painted by Cutshaw. And that's a pretty piece. Man, that's pretty nice. Good, what do we got? 
All right, so 130. <laughs> Man, Jimmy, what's that big old chip in it? Huh? <laughs> I must have just did that. You just did that. <laughs> Not bad pickup. Yard sale on the way to work. Yeah, there you I go. Like it, man. That's yard cool. Good job. Yard sale on the way to work. So we're back here in the sales room where Jimmy just unpacked that. We're going to do a whatnot sale back here in a little bit. But uh, what's really cool is that we we did a little remodel and got some some new a new jewelry case back here for our whatnot sales now. I mean, it's pretty impressive. I mean, look at that. Not only a new case, but I mean, there's some really great stuff in there. There's Monet. Ian Klein, Trafari, all original pack stuff. There's some Liz Claiborne. Uh, here's some Sterling pieces on the top up here, some other costume. And then look at all the Sterling, Sterling the Sterling earrings. earring display. That's kind of fun. All Sterling silver. Uh, and they got the Burner Brother Antiques logo on the top. That's pretty fun. These guys worked hard yesterday getting it set up. I don't know, Lucas is gonna feel good back here now, Josh. I like it. So what you doing? Inventorying. How many lots you got done so far? Oh, I have no idea. I didn't even try to look. Didn't try and look. What are you inventory? Three hundred and one. How many? Three hundred and one. <sighs> we have a long way to go. A short time to get there. Yes, we do. All right, Silk is working on all this silver pile right here, right now. Hey guys, let's check out some soul bins up front here. See what we got. One hundred and ninety-five dollar cloisonne vase is pretty cool. That's kind of nice, actually. Made to do a lamp at one type. One ninety-five in the soul pile. Well, oh, there's a beautiful flow blue covered terrain here. Oh man, that is very nice. Look at the scene on the inside. That's what the pattern this one is. There you go. I should put my glasses on first, I guess. That's what it says. I'm wondering if the price is underneath of the charger here. Nope, no price. There's a charger down there too. Uh, it looks like they got an offer in on it. And offer. Yep, yeah, no, it's not that one. Let's see if I can figure the price out real quick. Okay, so we got figured out the price on the two pieces was offered at 125 and that's what they took for it. A set of six carnival glass tumblers with hand painted enameled paint on there. Those are cool. $99. It says they're fitting. Uh, pretty, pretty interesting. Oh, we got a couple dogs over here. What are these guys priced out at? $9 each on them, little puppies. All right, here's a quilt brought up. $135 price tag on that guy uh, in this old bin. Here goes Al. Never stops working. What you got? <laughs> some sold items bear. going up. Oh, a bear. And then, Norman Rockwell figure? Yes. Nice. Some how Halloween much, how much are they? Five dollars. Five dollars on that That's guy. That's a snag in 24. In 24. Nice. Thank you. Ooh, I really like this copper luster picture. That is awesome. What price? Six dollars. Wow, that's a bargain. It says as is. Handle's got a little damage, but man, what a buy! Right beside us, a bunch of Hummels here. This one's thirty-three dollars. Hummels have been picking up lately too. This is interesting development in the past couple months. Thirty-eight dollars on that one, and twenty-five on that one. Uh, all sold. Ah, fitting fairy lamp for fifty-five dollars in the sold bin. That's a pretty cool fitting fairy lamp. I like it. This guy right here, twenty-nine dollars. Little pottery bird. He's cute. Another Indiana glass piece over here, nine dollars. Oh, that's Viking. I'm sorry, nine dollars on the Viking. Uh, and this looks like Hagger. What does this say? No, this is Red Wing. Ooh, nice. Twenty-two dollars on the Red Wing. Uh, all sold. Halloween postcard, thirty-five dollars in the sold bin. Okay, now this is interesting. A different booth completely, or a different buyer completely. Twenty-dollar Hummel sold. What's going on with Hummels? Thirty-five on this one. And 25 on this one, guys. I'm saying, paying attention to some Hummels. We had some at auction last week that all did really well too. They brought from 20 to 50 dollars each, uh, and that's that's a lot in today's world. Oh, check out the Howdy Duty glass, six dollars and fifty cents on that guy, and this one right here, same price, six fifty. Ooh, we have an offer pending on this. I think it's going to be accepted. 250 dollar cloisonne lamp right here. Uh, pretty cool piece. Lots of work in there. I like the Greek key pattern on the base. Uh, all the yellow underneath. Nice, nice piece. Oh, and check it out, guys. We sold the big clock. That's fun. Uh, this guy here, what did he have priced on it? Uh, oh, it doesn't say. I don't know what the price was, actual sale price on this guy, but it was out here for quite a while. But uh, it's now sold. Victorian grandfather clocks, a pretty big piece. Oh, check this out. Another wagon load of stuff going up. So that guy is $40, $10 over there. $28 on the little ch uh, chip and dip set here. A lot of fun pieces of aluminum wear in here. Here's a $22 dip set. 
$59 a vision covered covered dish here and then these guys are ten dollars each um, American false craft I think is what that says and these guys here are Pyrex as well all this stuff and these are nine dollars ninety cents on the big guy in the back all sold man check out the electric clocks up here in the highlights right now there's a fender uh, here's a Mason's root beer this is a Hot Wheels, that's a PM Hot Wheels clock, that's pretty cool. A Suncrest and a Dr. Pepper, uh, that's a PM as well, all up here in the highlights right now. All right, Josh and Jimmy back here working price and stuff. I'm not sure what they got going on. But in the whatnot sale, Josh, it'll sell. Yeah. Get rid of it. We can. It makes it quick that way. Tag out no, it's up to you. Hey, I was coming back to tell you though, the, the, the gentleman we bought all the silver off of, he's coming back with some, some other pieces for me to look oh, at. Cool. So He'll be here yeah. in just a couple minutes. Nice. Yeah. You got your spark over there. Nice. I need it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what we have here is a walk-in. The gentleman that I told you was going to bring something back today. He brought us a silver yesterday. He brought this back. This is interesting. That is Pearpoint. Uh, very nice uh, lady on one side. Art Nouveau. Uh, flowers on the other side. And very good mark, pair point mark. Now, pair point, I have done so well with in the past. I mean, I've gotten uh, some of those pair point puffy lamps I've sold for multiple thousands. Uh, it used to be that we'd sell anything pair point for a lot of money, but it's not as popular as it was, say, 15 or 20 years ago. But this is a pretty exceptional piece of pair point. Okay, so check this out, guys. This is sterling. This is a phenomenal repose uh, mirror. And the work in this is just absolutely off the charts. This is a Jacob uh, Rabinovich Rab piece. Um, it is signed, JR. Uh, and I found a couple comparables online. There was one that sold at an auction a while back for 550, and there's one for sale now for 1800. Uh, and silver's up right now, so you know who knows what this one's going to bring. We're going to auction this off on our Burners.com catalog soon, uh, and probably next week. But the work on this is phenomenal. This is a huge mirror, it's about 20 inches. And I wanna get down here and show you the signature right down here on the bottom. If you can make it out, it's right there. Pretty cool piece, uh, yep, just came in. Just got this back here to the auction house uh, out of the office from the front. And I just wanna go over the work on this frame one more time because this is phenomenal work. Uh, yes. Repose with the birds. Um, all the way up. I mean, that's just one side. This is about a, I mean, you can see how big this thing is. This is like a three inch wide frame uh, all the way across. It's got the birds up here on the top. The workmanship is, is off the charts. What is, I don't have a little piece up here floating. I'm not sure what that is. Flower, a flower maybe? Uh, just great, great work. And again, it is signed, uh, numbered, silver, it's all, it's all down here at the bottom, uh, right to, where is that, right here. A good look at that signature right there it is jr925 and that is sterling and what's really cool about this frame is um th this can go anywhere at auction this thing could bring a low side of three or four hundred dollars high side of eight to twelve hundred uh, and you just never know until you put it up and see what's going to happen retail i could see this being big money well there's one online for right at 1800 right now so pretty cool piece excited about that one all right, we're back here. The team's gearing up. Jimmy's getting his uh, oh, his stuff together. We're going to do a whatnot show. Wednesday's whatnots live from the heart shows, guys. You just never know what's going to happen. But let me just show you what we're going to sell over here. So the pretty interesting stuff. This all came from that Kentucky group. Uh, we don't know how it's going to do. I'll talk to you guys after the show How you know when we get done. You really just never know because we start everything at a dollar. Uh, I love this poodle. I think that's a really cool piece right here. <laughs> All of these Italian art glass figurines, all going in today. The Blinko hat, the Blinko tumble up, more Italian art glass figures. The bittersweet is absolutely beautiful piece of bittersweet. Uh, down through here, there's some more stuff. This is that Fenton Jack and the Pulp that Jimmy bought at the yard sale today. That's gonna sell. The Bluebird, the Empoli glass in the back. All of these things. Uh, and then we don't know if we'll get time to sell all of this stuff, but we have all of these Fenton shoes over here too. Uh, and then we also prepared a whole bunch of costume jewelry. Uh, we went through a bunch of costume jewelry earlier today and all of this stuff right here has a chance of selling. Uh, then the case here is all signed pieces and sterling. So we're just gonna see what we get to. Okay, we just got done with our whatnot sale. We did. How did that go, Jimmy? What was your thoughts about it? I thought it, I thought it did good. How I many mean, people did we have watching? Uh, at one point there was 206. Um, 211. 211. 211, wow. Okay. okay. I couldn't keep track of the phone the whole time, but it was fun. 
I think we had a good show. Got gave away um, some really good items. Um, and <laughs> they gave them away. <laughs> well, we actually we gave away a couple of Fenton boots. Yeah, um, right here's right here's what we ended up getting sold. We sold what was our uh, highest priced item today? Um, um, the, was it the uh, bittersweet? bittersweet? I think the bittersweet. No, so, did something else bring more than bittersweet? Bittersweet brought almost no. Something brought more. Yeah, Not something the brought. Uh, yeah. What was something? Was um, it? It's in the other room. Was it the cookie jar? No. I don't know. Something this cookie jar. This cookie jar brought like eighty dollars. Something went for two hundred. Yeah. Something yeah. went for two hundred and eighty dollars. We can't remember what it was. Guys, we're getting old. Oh, I'll go in there and look, Jacob. All right, let's oh, go look. Let's find it. Right over here. Oh, the Blinko hat. There that that brought more than anything else. It brought like two hundred and eighty. Yeah, I think it's like two eighty, two eighty five. Two eighty, two eighty five. But all of these are all sold, and Lucas and Joe are gonna love packing this show out. I feel sorry for them. Dude, this is gonna take a long time to pack. It'll take a little bit. Don't bump the table. Don't bump the table. <laughs> <laughs> so we sold. We we did sell all these birds, and these brought from mostly from like seventy to one hundred ten range, right? Yeah. For most of them. Seventy to one ten, one twenty. Yeah, Couple that was run, you know one hundred thirty. But th yeah, the this, poodle. I was surprised though. This didn't bring a lot. It brought like eighty yeah. or eighty five. I thought that might bring like a two or three hundred dollars or the something. The penguin did well. The penguin brought over a hundred. Yep. They're, the birds are just so. cool. The birds right? are so cool. They are very good. All right. What else did well in the other room? All right, so what did you say about the boots, Josh? I said the boots all did well. Oh, yeah. uh, we ran choice on them. Well, what what, what were the ranges they brought? Um, anywhere from 20 to 40. 20 to 40 a piece on the Fenton A couple boots. of them might have hit 45, 48. Okay. Yeah, the one painted hand fit this one. This oh, one the right hand painted black one there? This one brought yeah, the most. Had all the labels on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Well, that was pretty cool. Uh, anything else, Jimmy, that you remember that was, that was like, you were like, wow, that was pretty good or pretty bad or... Can't no, remember, I huh? thought stuff did. The mushroom. Mushroom. did all right. The, the mushroom. mushroom. Did good. The mushroom. It really, actually, the, I mean, I guess the fairy. Well, do you remember what it brought, Josh? The mushroom. I don't. I remember They're thinking fifty dollar range. Well, it was a cool piece, and I thought 50? it. I thought it brought what it should for the piece that it was. Yeah, it was a neat piece. But overall, it was pretty solid sale. Uh, yeah. We sold a uh, right hundred and ten items or something. I love. Isn't that this great? Wall pocket. Great wall pocket. All art glass. Yeah, that was pretty special. And that's all sold. I well, still think the neatest piece was the Blinko hat. The Blinko hat. It was neat. Yeah, that was cool. It was pretty cool. And then that that uh, bittersweet vase up there brought around 180 or somewhere in there. Yeah. Pretty cool. 185. 185. I Kate and Kate and Kate bought it. Good deal for her. We're glad for. her. What you got going on today, Joe? A lot of inventory. A lot of inventory. Are you getting close on the numbers yet? We. I think we are actually. Are we? Yeah. That's good. A lot That's got done today. Thought well. I'd, we would get. Mamaw's over here photo and jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> good job, Mamaw. Uh, do you have very much interest in today's uh, auction for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah? sure what, do. What are they calling about? Uh, the glass sculpture. Oh, okay. Yes, yep. uh, yeah. lot 30, 3005A. Okay. And then um, the inkwell. The inkwell, okay. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the... Inbuy on the uh, Tiffany? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Got, got a lot of action on all three of those pieces. Nice. Yeah. All right, well, appreciate it. Should be exciting. Go. What'd you just say? <laughs> I said, if you tell me stuff at home, it doesn't count. It doesn't <laughs> I don't count. have to remember That's what so I'm funny. here. That's <laughs> awesome. You got a lot done today? Well, Joe yeah, says you guys got trying. a lot cataloged. We did get a lot cataloged. Cool. We're, we're at 665 lots now. Wow. That's a massive difference. What were we this morning? 300. Good job, team. Ready. You <laughs> were born ready. What, <laughs> how, how'd we go today? What's it been going it on? went real good. Yeah, we've uh, been back there doing a whatnot sale, so I missed right. the last few hours. Yep. Everything's going real good. We've had a lot of people the, in. The big that. grandfather clock sold, yes, I see. Yes, that so went out. Nice. 1800 Eighteen hundred. Okay. Uh, yeah. They took the offer of eighteen hundred. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Now we got to move that bronze head bus. It looks like it's in the way, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just sitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Oh, good job up here today, then. Uh, thank you. Oh, I just seen this little hen on the nest up here in the sold bin. I thought I had to film that. $18. He's pretty cool. Little miniature hen on a nest for $18. There is a regular sign priced out at $165 in the sold bin. Ooh, I like the hen carved birds. Check these guys out. Up here in the sold bins. Uh, $85 on this guy on the first one. And then $55 on the second. And man, those got some style to them. I like it. Now right beside it is a little seller's jar. It looks like a seller's jar. Priced at $65, aluminum top, kind of a deco feel to it. Pretty cool grouping also. So Josh is sitting here going through a box of jewelry that we bought so long ago we don't remember buying it. <laughs> 
That's bad, isn't it? Yeah, and what's funny, like we bought it like this. It was already separated, divided, and bagged up. And it's like, I, oh, I remember paper, I remember looking at it and buying it and knowing, that, oh, that was a fair price, and I didn't have to worry about it, but uh, that's as far as we got. But we were digging through it just now, and check this out, guys. This is a turquoise carved Inuit necklace. There's a, with, with bears all the way up. That is so cool. Uh, little coyotes are wolves and bears. Wolves and bears. This is all sterling. That's pretty cool. And he's got a big sterling necklace right there. Uh, this is a cloisonne one here. There's art glass in there. There's some coral. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been uh, pretty interesting. Josh and I are trying to get figured out all of our old stock. We've been working on this stuff for a year. We can't get caught up. through all of it. We're going to have to get through yeah, it soon. It's right there on the other class. Well, uh, it got nice outside all of a sudden, so uh, Silk and I are going to cut out of here. It's about 5.30, almost 6 o'clock. We're going to cut out of here, go home, and uh, chill out the rest of the evening, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.